Judges 7. Then Zerubbabel, who is Gideon, and all the people that were with him rose up early and pitched beside the well of Harod, so that the host of the Midianites were on the north side of them, but the hill of Moreh in the valley. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people that are with thee are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands. Lest Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, Mine own hand hath saved me. Now therefore go to, proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. And there returned of the people twenty and two thousand, and there remained ten thousand. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people are yet too many. Bring them down unto the water, and I will try them for thee there. And it shall be that of whom I say unto thee, This shall go with thee, the same shall go with thee. And of whomsoever I say unto thee, This shall not go with thee, the same shall not go. So he brought down the people unto the water, and the Lord said unto Gideon, Everyone that lappeth of the water with his tongue, as a dog lappeth, him shalt thou set by himself. Likewise, everyone that boweth down upon his knees to drink, the number of them that lapped, putting their hands to their mouth, were three hundred men. But all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink water. And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the three hundred men that lapped will I save you, and deliver the Midianites into thine hand. And let all the people, all the other people, go every man unto his place. So the people took victuals in their hand and their trumpets, and he sent all the rest of Israel, every man unto his tent, and retained those three hundred men. And the host of Midian was beneath him in the valley, and it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Arise, get thee down unto the host, for I have delivered it into thine hand. But if thou fear to go down, go thou with Porah, thy servant, down to the host, and thou shalt hear what they say, and afterward shall thine hands be strengthened to go down unto the host. Then went he down with Porah, his servant, unto the outside of the armed men that were in the host. And the Midianites and the Amalekites and all the children of the east lay along in the valley like grasshoppers for multitude. And their camels are without number, as the sand of the sea sighed for multitude. And when Gideon was come, behold, there was a man that told a dream unto his fellow, and said, Behold, I had dreamed a dream, and lo, a cake of barley bread tumbled into the host of Midian, and came unto a tent, and smote it, and it fell, and overturned it, that the tent lay along. And his fellow answered and said, This is nothing else save the sword of Gideon, the son of Joash, a man of Israel. For into his hand hath God delivered Midian and all the host. And so it was when Gideon heard the telling of the dream and the interpretation thereof, that he worshipped and returned unto the host of Israel and said, Arise, for the Lord hath delivered into your hand the host of Midian. And he divided the three hundred men into three companies, and he put a trumpet in every man's hand, with empty pitchers and lambs within the pitchers. And he said unto them, Look on me and do likewise, and behold, when I come to the outside of the camp, it shall be that as I do, so shall you do. When I blow with a trumpet, I and all that are with me, then blow ye the trumpets also on every side of all the camp and say the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. So Gideon and the hundred men that were with him came unto the outside of the camp in the beginning of the middle watch and they had but newly set the watch and they blew the trumpets and break the pitchers that were in their hands and the three companies blew the trumpets and break the pitchers and held the lamps in their left hands and the trumpets in their right hands to blow with all and they crowd the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. And they stood 
every man in his place round about the camp, and all the host ran and cried and fled. And the three hundred blew the trumpets, and the Lord set every man's sword against his fellow, even throughout all the host. And the host fled to Bethshita in Zererath, and to the border of Abel Mehola, and to Tabath. And the men of Israel gathered themselves together out of Naphtali, and out of Asher, and out of all Manasseh, and pursued after the Midianites. And Gideon sent messengers throughout all Mount Ephraim, saying, Come down against the Midianites, and take before them the waters unto Bethbara and Jordan. Then all the men of Ephraim gathered themselves together, and took the waters and to Beth, Bara, and Jordan. And they took two princes of the Midianites, Oreb and Zeb, and they slew Oreb upon a rock. Oreb and Zeb were slew at the winepress of Zeb, and pursued Midian, and brought the heads of Oreb and Zeb to Gideon on the other side Jordan.